this time I want to show category wise region wise sales category wise category comma region wise sales region wise sales I want to show this time two dimension columns category is one dimension column region is second dimension column and sales I want to show when I want to show category wise region wise sales how to show it so take this visual same pie chart as usual first dimension column into the legend and first fact column into the values and second dimension column where I need to drag it a region when I drag the region here it will create a drill down visual when I drag the region to the legend it will create a drill down visual I don't want a drill down visual I don't want a drill down visual I want to show category wise region wise sales you are showing complete technology what is the sales I want to split this complete sales east region how much west region how much south region how much central region how much I want to split this complete uh, category sales based on each region based on each region now where you can drag the region category wise region wise sales I can go and drag the region to details case I can go and drag the region to details. second dimension column we need to drag it to details drag the region when I drag the region it will split uh, complete category data to each region here how can you understand which region sales it is which region sales it is which region so here I need to format the visual when you have two dimension columns when you have one fact column the default visual will show like this you can format it in much better way I can select this go to the format let me take the legend to top center to save the space and let me change the label style here go to the detail label and go and change the label style to category comma data value so that people can easily understand category technology orange color central region sales is this category technology east region sales technology south region sales technology west region sales furniture central sales furniture east region sales like this we can show category wise region wise sales value so when you want to show two dimension columns and one fact column data first dimension column into the legend second dimension column into the details and first fact column into the values now I want to show category wise region wise sales and profit I want to show category wise region wise sales and profit this time two dimension columns and two fact columns how to show two dimension columns and two fact columns data in the pie chart to show two dimension columns and two fact columns let's take same pie chart first dimension column as usual into the legend second dimension column as usual into the details first fact column as usual into the values and I want to keep another fact column so before we keep another fact column let's do some basic formatting here fine we did it now I want to keep one more fact column where I can keep it yes I want to keep profit also in this pie chart where I can show the profit now where I can show the profit where I can show the profit so can I drag the profit to the values means it will not allow when I drag the profits here it will override it will override the sales so previously when there is no details when there is no region column here when I drag the profit it allows sales and profit it allows now I have a second dimension column called region here when I try to drag the profit it is not allowing so understand when there is a field in the details values can allow only one fact column one fact column so when there is a dimension column here second dimension column values can allow only one fact column when it is not available it can allow multiple fact columns when already it is available values cannot allow multiple fact columns then where I need to drag profit now I still want to show category wise region wise sales and profit the only option for you is tooltip guys now the last field value you have is tooltip in the tooltip you will drag fact column only so when you drag any column to legend the visual look and feel will change look at this when I go and add it the look and feel of the visual is changing 
and when I add any field to the details, the look and feel of the visual will change. I'm going and adding region column to the details. Look and feel of the visual is changed. When I add any field in the values, when I don't have a field, the visual is not showing anything. When I add a field in the values, the look and feel of the visual is changed. When you add any column to these three field wells, the, the visibility of the visual will change. But so the last fact column, I am telling that you need to drag it to the tooltip. Second fact column. When I drag anything to the tooltip, the look and feel of the visual will not change. The feel of the, the look of this visual will not change. Look at this, I'm dragging profit here, I'm not seeing any change here. When I drag any field into the tooltip, where it will change. Tooltip is nothing but the black box you are seeing right when I hover here. I'm seeing a black box which is telling me category wise, region wise, what is the sales? What is the sales? That is tooltip. So in the tooltip now it is showing two dimension columns, category and region, and one fact column sales. One fact column sales. It is showing two dimension columns, category, region, and sales. Right? So when you drag profit here, when you drag profit here, when you drag profit here, so it, it will add one more thing in the tooltip, guys. When you drag any column, it will just change the tooltip. That's it. It will not change any visual. So the last fact column, second fact column, you need to drag it to the tooltip. When you add something here, look at this. You got category wise, region wise, sales, and profit. The tooltip it got added additional one, guys. When you want to show category wise, region wise, sales, profit, and quantity. How can we show it? Category wise, region wise, sales, profit, and quantity. Quantity. How can we show it? Category wise, region wise, sales, profit, and quantity. How can I show it? Where I can drag the quantity column? Quantity is one more fact column. You can drag it to the tooltip, guys. Even another, you can drag it to the tooltip. When I drag it to the tooltip, when I go and hover here, I can even see one extra one. So category technology, East region, we sold this much quantity, we got this much sales, this much profit, right? Like this, so max, you can keep two dimension columns. Legend and details are used for dimension columns. Values and tooltips are used for fact columns. So if you have another fact column also, you can drag it to the tooltip. You can add n number of fact columns to the tooltip. So these are the fold field wells. On the whole, you need to remember that Legend and details are used for dimension columns. Values and tooltips are used for fact columns. So when, when a visual contains four field wells, in the real time, we never fill all the four field wells with, col with columns. In the real time, when you are working in the projects, it is not that you need to fill all the four field wells. Hardly, we'll fill two or three field wells. Rarely, we'll fill all the four field wells. When a visual contains four field wells, Mostly we will fill two field wells or three field wells. Rarely we might even use four field wells. But we understand about all the four field wells, where to place dimension columns and where to place fact columns. Anybody have any questions here? Anybody have any questions about the field wells? fine the next one is formatting options what are the formatting options we have we'll see general where to place the visual already I shared yesterday a slicer formatting video in the slicer in the slicer formatting video we discussed let me add a border for it add a border fine so I, I, I shared a formatting video of slicer in the slicer you will, you will even find general the same general section guys whatever you are seeing general here even you can find general here so what is general is where to place the visual you can control it in general and legend so legend to format this legend values Whenever we need to format this legend values, you are seeing this legend, right? Whenever you need to format this legend values, you can go and format in the legend. Select the visual, go to the format, legend. Do you want to show it in top center? 
So legend, do you want to show the title? This is title for the legend. I don't want to show this title of this. And do you want to show the title on this? Or do you want to change the legend name? Now the legend name is category. Instead of category, do you want to change it something? Category values. Something, something if you want to change it. Legend name. And what is the color you want for that legend values? For this values, what color you want? And what is the font family you want? Do you want a bold text? And what is the size of the legend you want? You can format it. Whenever you need to format the legend, you can format here. And data colors. Now, the next formatting option you are seeing is data colors. Now, for technology, orange color. For furniture, light blue color. For officer plus dark blue color. Instead of this color, if you want some other color, I can go and change the color. Some people will not like this color. So, I can go and change the color to some other one. Some other one. So, I can go and change it. What color I want, I can go and change it here. Right. Officer plus, I want a yellow color then. Right. Data colors. Detail labels. If you want to format these labels, I want to change. I have the values in thousands. I want to change it to millions. I want to change these numbers to millions. I can go to the detail labels. Label style. I want to show only dimension value. I want to show only fact value. I want to show only percentage of sales. I want to show category comma data value. Category comma percentages. Cat data value comma percentage or all the values. Category, data value and percentage. You can go and change it. And you can change the label color. You can go and choose the display units also. Select category comma data values. Here display units, auto. Auto means if the number is bigger one, it will show in millions. If the number is medium size one, it will show in thousands. So like this, it will adjust automatically. Based on the number, it will adjust. Instead of auto, I'm planning to show here in millions. If you want to show in millions, just go here, click on millions. I'm able to show the sales values in millions case. Values after decimal places. After this, you are showing two decimal places, right? If you want to show auto, so one decimal place, you can show only one decimal place. Or if you want to show three decimal places, you can show three decimal places. So like this, you can how how many decimal places you want. After this point, you can control it. Text size, font family. If you want to change this font family, I can, you can change it. If you want to change it. Or you have label position. Do you want to show these labels inside? So you can show these labels inside. You can show these labels outside. Now I am showing the labels outside. If you want to show the labels inside, I can go and show it inside. So you got the labels inside. So like this, where you want to show labels outside or inside. Whenever you need to format this data label thing, you can you can format in detail label section. And title. So we already discussed this title. To format this, you can go to the title. Where you need to align the title? Do you want to bring it to the center? What is the font color you want? What is the background color you want for the title? It, you can format something like this. Title. So title, background, lock aspect, border, sh a shadow, visual header. This options already we discussed with slicer visual guys. When you go to the slicer visual, you'll see same options. Starting from title, background, lock aspect, border, shadow. These options will be available for every visual. Every visual you can find it. I don't want to discuss again and again. So title, background, lock aspect, border, shadow. Same options and even visual header also. Starting from here till here, every visual you will see that this options. Title, background, lock aspect, border, shadow, tooltip. So tooltip is not there, visual header. Now, there is one more additional formatting option there. So one more thing is, let's go here. So far, title, background, lock aspect, border, shadow, tooltip is there. If you want to format the tooltip, you can format it. Tooltip is nothing but this one. Whatever you are seeing here, we call it as tooltip. If you want to format it, you can format it. There are two types of tooltip. The default tooltip and the report page tooltip. So the one which we are seeing is a default tooltip. The one which we are seeing is a default tooltip. So you can go to the default tooltip, you can change the label color. Category and sales is there, right? We call it as labels. So technology and some value is there, that value color. You can change them. I want to change the label color to yellow. I want to change the value color to light blue. You can do that. So look at this. You can increase the text size. 
you can change the font family so look at this it got changed label colors this so this is default tooltip guys default there is one more option called report page tooltip about report page tooltip we will discuss 30 minutes of time in the coming classes so report page tooltip we will discuss it's a separate topic 30 minutes topic we will discuss in the coming classes now whatever you are seeing we call it as what default tooltip default tooltip whenever you need to format the tooltip you can go and format in the tooltip these are the formatting options you have with them pie chart guys fine this is all about the pie chart we seen what is the purpose of the pie chart to, to present the categorical data when you have less categorical values less categorical values around five values when you have you can go and present it in the pie chart and then and then we seen what are the field wells it contains where to drag dimension columns and fact columns and then we discussed what are the formatting options we have here the next visual in this category is donut chart guys donut donut chart. Chart. Yes. yes tell me someone unmuted any questions next visual is donut chart this one so pie chart and donut chart will looks 100% same guys look at this here the purpose is also same so I can even write here donut chart is used to visualize categorical data when you have less values even donut chart also